12 years ago today, several areas across the Ozarks woke up to tornado damage following the leap year tornado outbreak. Nicolette Zangara tells us why this storm was so dangerous. The sun rose on February 29th, illuminating the extensive damage from eight tornadoes in the Ozarks. These tornadic storms were a part of a larger outbreak spanning across the Midwest and Southeast. KY3 First Alert meteorologist Brandon Beck recalls forecasting the event. If you have the right ingredients, the right timing, the right amount, everything has to come together just right. And that particular February, we had 60s ahead of it, we had Gulf moisture, and particularly Particularly, we had a lot of wind shear as this cold front came through. So storms developed, they started to rotate, and as they got stronger, that rotation tightened. It's much like an ice skater that pulls her arms in and she starts spinning faster and faster. Let's test this out. First, I'm gonna spin with my arms straight out. Notice I'm not spinning very quickly. So we're gonna try it again, and this time bringing my arms in. Notice how much faster I'm spinning once I bring those arms in. And just like skating, as winds wrap tightly around a storm, they get faster and faster, leading to higher vertical velocity, stretching the column of air and eventually spawning a tornado. Or in this case, more than 40 tornadoes across 11 states. Not only are tornadoes rare this time of year, but nighttime tornadoes are especially dangerous. No critical injuries or deaths were reported in Branson, but many worried about the upcoming tourist season. Branson Fire Chief Ted Martin remembers a speedy response. Within a matter of just 24 hours, a lot of the power was either rerouted or, or reestablished throughout the entire city and they had a lot of infrastructure to replace along Highway 76 and so you see some iconic photos on on different platforms that shows the utility companies working hard to get those services restored. Marvin Roderman, current president of the petroleum company Empire Energy, came into work at 2 a.m. to find the main building had been lifted by the tornado. We got back over here in daylight and it was just unbelievable. But the city of Branson didn't waste a moment to get the area back to its rightful state. It was, it was unreal. I, I couldn't imagine how they organized so fast. But we all did. We all just kind of just jumped in and rolled our shirt sleeves up and went to work. Branson is resilient and we're ready to be open for business. While Branson is fully restored, memories remain with community members hoping they will not need to come together again in the face of destruction. Reporting in Branson, Nicolette Zangara, KY3 News. Now to an on your